My name is Martin Brancano, I'm the director of Topotec One. We are a landscape architecture public space office based in Berlin and happy to be here as part of the Recite conference in Prague. Well, the interesting thing of migration, I think, is that it has a lot of levels, no? I was talking today to a politician in this opening we were uh, attending before, before doing this interview with you guys, and um, I was saying, actually, in your city, because I said, you know, the Czech Republic doesn't accept immigrants like many other European countries, and I said, actually, it's not true. Your city is full of, mi of migrants, it's full of tourists, no? And I said, actually, refugees are better than tourists. I don't know what is worse in the end, you know? What is easier or, or, or not easy, so maybe uh, tourists bring you some income, uh, on a, on a short term, but in the end, on a long term, you are going to lose because on some point, maybe the attraction that your city creates is not anymore there. And the, fun, the other funny thing is that all the attractions that people come to see here were done in a time where this city was a city full of different cultures and not a monocultural space. But I always use a reference actually because in the end, parks often have been used to create identities. And identities, you know, many countries, many places think that identities are given from God or from whoever, but it's not the case. Identities are also in a constant challenge and in constant change, you know. So the idea that a park, a super park, is a container and a catalysator for this development to a new tradition, to a new identity. And this identity is the mix then in the end of all these different identities that are, that are around. Well, one thing that was easy for me a little bit in that case is not only my professional experience, but also my experience as an immigrant myself. So, and one thing that for me, remembering my uh, moving from one country uh, to another, moving from Argentina in that case to Germany, and one thing that, we, that I was talking about in the project of Copenhagen, a strategy I was talking about is the strategy of translating. When you move from one culture to another, from one country to another, you often also change language and change culture, no? But, and, and when you learn a language, you know, I was reading an article once in an in a, in a, in a, in a airplane magazine, I think it was the National Geographic, about how languages also transform your face. So obviously we also have a, 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 a sign language or, or a body language, depending on the language we speak or the culture in which we, we speak. But the language also not only transforms the way you think, and also you start to think about your original language, because you start to understand your original language, because you have to start to translate. But this translation, creates a transformation. Yeah, I mean, I hate the word education, okay? So I think it shouldn't educate. Let's say, I think architecture has the uh, responsibility to seduce the people, you know, and through seduction to get them to understand. So it should maybe apply a more hedonistic approach, you know? You, you feel it with your body. When you're in this park, you see the other people having fun, uh, barbecuing, doing sports you've never seen before, maybe, I don't know, using the public space in a different way. That creates also joy. So for me, it's more important to show that all these things are also fun. I mean, there are a lot of conflicts, but these conflicts also can be interesting. A conflict per se is not something negative. If it's uh, canalized in the right way, it can be an incredible force and, and, and a big character for, for a place. Mm -hmm.